okay so we need to um, to cube this and I just want to make sure you understand that that I'm cubing uh, this particular answer you know and the way I've written this speaking of order of operations is very bad isn't it what I need to say is more like this this answer here x minus x bar divided by that you know this whole thing divided by the standard deviation so we did that for each and every answer now I need to take uh, that value and multiply it by itself three times. So here's the value. The way that you cube something in Excel is you use the little caret symbol, which is shift number six, and like that. <coughs> so then I'm going to copy that to each and every value. Then what does it say? It says sum your answer. Okay, well down here, and I'm going to change the uh, color of this just a little bit so that we don't think it's one of our data values. And I'm going to use Excel's auto sum function because that just makes life a little bit easier. And I get that the answer to the right side of the equation is this 23. So I'm going to say right, oops, right equals, um, and it actually equals this right here, doesn't it? Okay. So finally, what I need to do is multiply the left and the right sides. So I'm going to say this times this. And that should give me the correct answer. So now what I want to do after you submit that uh, into Connect, make sure that, you know, I may have some rounding error in there because I did carry a lot of extra decimals. So uh, just double check, make sure I didn't miss any steps, and uh, make sure that it agrees with Connect. But I hope this helps. The real key thing here is breaking it down uh, into pieces. And another trick, if I could encourage you to use Excel, is that when you work, the, if you work this problem again for the test, I can't even remember if it's on the test or not, um, then all you have to do is come in here and change a, a value and say instead of this being 4 it's 5 and your calculations are updated and so you only have to really set the problem up one time whereas in your calculator you do have to write it out every time. So I hope this helps and um, hang in there. I know it's a long calculation but you are learning a lot about uh, order of operations and doing things in a step-by-step -step approach and that will be helpful as you can continue on. Thanks. Good luck.